This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. You join me in Rochford. We are about, well, I say about, we're still a good four miles away, but as you can see, the roads are starting to get a little bit narrow. Yes, you're indicating right, I see you. I see you. We're on our way to Baltic, I think it's Baltic, Baltic Distribution. And uh, <laughs> the way in is interesting to say the least. I've only been here once before, um, but we're going to get loaded with timber. Um, and yeah, the way in, it's sort of like, it's definitely a haul road for trucks because um, it's the only way in, <laughs> basically, um, to get to the timber. And also caravan sites that are down here as well, like little getaway holidays. So there's only way to get the caravans in as well. So trucks definitely come down this, this route. But yeah, there's like, there's stuff, if I remember correctly, there's stuff scattered all over the place. The ditches, I'm sure there's like half sunken boats rotting. Like, something you'd expect to see, like, on a pirate film. I'm not even joking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're about 3.9 miles away now. And as I thought, we just done a delivery in Chelmsford, and it was, like, 30 degrees, proper hot. I'm sweating. I'm taking off the net. I'm taking off the bags. Really, really hot, stuffy weather. It's still 25 degrees now, but it's starting to rain. It's It's thunder weather <laughs> so we might we might get some thunder tonight i don't know am i on a night out that's another question i'm starting to think i will be depends on how long we're going to be here for if we can get loaded in an hour and we and we're gone there is a chance we can get it tipped off today we've got to take it to whitney don't know where in whitney we're going yet but if we're here for like say two hours then um yeah i can't see us getting it tipped off tonight and tip uh, in whitney which would then mean a night out uh, probably sort of somewhere near Oxford, but that's fine, not the end of the world. It'd be an early finish if we do a night out, because it'd be around about four or five o'clock we get there, so assuming we're only here for two hours. We could be here for four hours, in which case things are going to get a little bit later. Um, but yeah, no, nah, this road is um, momentarily going to get a little bit interesting, if I remember correctly. There are signs to say truck, see? That is a sign for truck drivers to say, yes, this is the road you need to be on. Carry on. <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit narrow. We're going to a place called Wallacey Island. It sounds a bit like a pirate island, doesn't it? I'm sure, I'm sure they were like half sunken boats. Um, yeah, so it, it's not even that bad yet, but there are dips, particularly this side of the road here, a little bit of a dip on the left. If I remember rightly, there are dips on both sides. You certainly don't want to be going over. It's barely wide enough for two trucks. But yeah, that's starting to rain now as well, look. Is that a boat? No, that's wood. <laughs> no, that's wood. That's wood, sorry. I'm getting excited. Thought I saw a boat. Yeah, you see the dips on either side? It's quite a nice road actually, it's, um, I imagine it would be an interesting rally road for rally cross, push the drivers to the limits. Only two more miles to go but this is where it really starts to get interesting now. One thing I do like about this road is that you can sort of see advance, in advance far ahead so I can see if a truck is coming or a car. Because that's quite nice. That's good. Okay, we make a right hand turn here. Should be another brown sign to say trucks turn right. There is. And then this is where it starts to get interesting. Ooh, there's a truck there. I can't go anywhere until I know where these cars are going, mate. Right, they're both indicating right, thank you. Okay, Wallacey Industrial Area. 
let's go, go, go. The first time I come down here, I was a little bit cautious. <laughs> like, am I taking the right route? But uh, this time, like, I know it's the right route. It's the way I come in. It's the way other trucks have come in. The other way trucks come out. Just got to be a little bit cautious. Come on, don't let me down. I swear I saw a boat. Am I just imagining things? I don't see any water or anything yet. <laughs> let alone boat. It's like a, I swear it was like a swampy thing. <laughs> Am I, have I just imagined it all? <laughs> oh, I see water on the sat nav. There's, yeah, there's definitely water down here. Little lakes or streams. Car come in. After you, you're welcome. Yeah, see, it's a bit. It's a bit narrow, there's never a car coming around. You're gonna have to wait, mate. I'm sort of committed now. Go on, pull in. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why there's a line in the middle of the road. <laughs> that you struggle to get a car on one side, let alone a lorry. Road liable to flooding. Yes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There's like little water, little water bits, lakes. Looks like something you get on, looks very muddy. Something you get on a pirate pirate program or something. <laughs> and where's this boat? I swear I saw a boat. Are they boats? No, that's not a boat. There used to be something on it. They look like chests, like pirate chests. I don't think there's a boat, but you can kind of see what I mean. It's sort of like, yeah, really rotten stuff. Yeah. I, I want to know what this used to be, man. What was, what has this used to be? It looks like trenches of some sort. Uh, and there's a holiday park in front of us. That's what I said about the caravans. But do we want to go down here? Or we want to go into this industrial area down there. That's really starting to hammer it down now. We've got to get out in a sec. There was no boat. I'm slightly disappointed in the fact there was no boat. My sunroof open. No, it's shut. Making sure my sunroof was shut. <laughs> okay, Baltic Wharf. Hello. Please load me with timber as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's 12 o'clock. I'd like to be out here by one o'clock. That would be nice. That would be very nice if I'm out of here by one o'clock. Now, if I remember rightly, right in front of us, directly down there, there's like a sign that says stop and then it asks you to walk in over and sign in and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Lemon, I don't know whether I vlogged here or not before, I can't remember. Cannot remember for the life of me. But yeah, we're gonna get a little bit wet, I think, but that's fine boiling out so it soon dry up <laughs> lorries holding points thank you for working safe blah 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 ppe must be worn just shows a high vis that's cool we'll just put a high vis on right anyway i'm going to go and check in hopefully we can get loaded soon i will see you in a bit. Right, we're booked in. So we're just going to go wait in the truck now. Someone will call us over once we're, uh, or once they're ready for me. Now, there are actually quite a few drivers in here. And they're parked down there as well. I have asked if I parked in the right place because I've got to go for a bit of a walk. The office is all the way down there. I've sort of parked all the way down here. So I have asked if I parked in the right place and they have said yes. Uh, but there are quite a few drivers. Let's jump in the truck. The other thing I've got to uh, contend with is that there's a sign in there saying drivers go on a break at like half ten, half twelve and three o'clock for half an hour break. Um, 
it's 10 past 12 now. So in 20 minutes time, they're all going on break. <laughs> so I can't see them loading me in 20 minutes, which means they're all on break until one o'clock, which means I ain't gonna be loaded for a while. So, <sighs> yes, it's a wedding game. So yeah, 10 past 12 now, probably won't be out of here until two o'clock at the earliest now, I think, absolute earliest. Now, I don't actually know where in Whitney I'm going to, but I've had a quick look and uh, there is an industrial estate in Whitney. So I've just put that industrial estate in, just to give me an idea. Yeah, yeah. so 10 past three, if I left now, or five past three, can't see me leaving here in the next hour. So I'll be after four o'clock. Most likely won't be delivered today, which means night out. So now that I know that, I can message my wife. At your destination at 15.06. Now I know that, I can message my wife, just let her know that I'm most likely on a night out tonight and she ain't got to worry about cooking food or anything like that for me. So we'll just let her know, but yeah. Night out tonight. Um, yeah, never mind. I'm now in the loading area. Um, I was only sat there for five minutes, if that. But hang on, was fine. I can't remember. Anyway, it's 20 past 12 now. So they go on break in 10 minutes. So it's interesting now to see whether they will load me completely or do they stop and have a break in 10 minutes' time. We'll have to see. But it looks like that's going to be going on me. So yeah. Because it's raining out there, I'm um, just going to sit in here until they put it all on and then I'll get out and strap up once um, once most of it's on. Or I'm just going to get wet. I don't want to get wet. <laughs> I did earlier. I regretted it. <laughs> okay, we're loaded and uh, yeah, they didn't stop for a break. It's 10 to 1 nearly. Um, just going to do one final check make sure the straps are tight sometimes when they you strap up like this one for example they put that one on and then they push it and it make the strap go a bit loose sometimes so we're just making sure it's all okay it's all gravy baby nice so we're going to jump in the truck go grab our paperwork and then crack on it's actually now 50 50 if we're on a night out or not i'm not sure we need to stop for fuel as well on the way. Um, so we might not make it, or we might make it, I don't know. Let's just crack on, see in a bit. Sorry, I just, I'm just stopping here because maybe that's why I was thinking of boats. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> see, I told you, there was boats somewhere. There were boats somewhere. All right, let's go get our paperwork. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, okay. We have just made a phone call. Our current ETA is just before four o'clock, plus we need to stop for fuel. So we're not looking like we're gonna get there until quarter past four. So I have just quickly phoned them. And the latest they will take a delivery is 3.30. They would not take me. I said, is there any chance you can take me at quarter past four? And they said, they said no. <laughs> so. Bad news is we, um, it won't be delivered today. It'll be delivered in the morning. Good news is, we should be parked up around four-ish. Like I said, I need to get fuel. Don't know how far away from Whitney I'm going to park up. I might park in the Oxford lay-by, which is just around the corner. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's yet to be decided on where exactly we uh, where we park up for tonight. But yeah, we will be parking up. Go, right, mate. <laughs> How you doing, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. That's right, no worries. I watch all your videos, mate. Oh, do you? Yeah. So, uh, Appreciate yeah, that. The last one I watched was that Chip video, that waste of time. Oh, yeah. Chip jobs are the worst jobs. Yeah, that Swindon branch is horrible as well. Yeah. I had to say my head for Jews when I was in South Pockington. Oh, really? But, uh, I'd rather be get banned from the inside, like so you yeah, Exactly, yeah. <laughs> can't get a selfie with you, Luke. Yeah, of course you can. Is that all right? You can see me, right? Yeah, dude. Cheers, buddy. There you, right. give it, you filming today? I'm filming now. So, do you right with it being on social media? Absolutely, my friend. Can you give me a shout out? Essex Hay and Straw. Essex Hay and Straw, there you go. Ross, yeah? Ross? Ross. There Thank is. you so much. There is, mate. Absolute pleasure. To Have meet a good day. Take care. See you later, mate. Good luck, mate. Um, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> I didn't know 
hello thanks for watching i didn't know if you were telling me to slow down or, or um wanting help and advice on where to go or, or just recognize me but yeah appreciate it um what was i saying i yeah i don't think what was i saying <laughs> i can't remember what i was saying now um yeah i'm gonna be on night out so it's gonna sound like incredibly big headed but i do get stopped a lot and people say that but they, want, they ask for photographs and you know that i'm inspiration to him and all this and that and and it's it's amazing it's great and I'm, I'm so happy that i can inspire people but i never ever get used to it <laughs> when i get pulled over like that and it, it takes me by surprise every time i don't know why but it does um but yeah thank you appreciate it mate i think you said your name was ross thank you ross I do appreciate it right let's crack on thank you mr warmail mrs warmail um we've got to look left here and there's a left turn there is a car coming, but loads of time. But yeah, this road, man, this, I think this would be like a great rally track. Look at it. Great rally track. Danger either side. Ditches, water. I don't know what all that stuff is over there. It looks sticky, like muddy, gooey, sticky stuff. I want to know what it used to be. Is it, like, is it just marshlands? Anyone can let me know what this place is. Ooh. Buggy in the windscreen. It sort of looks a bit like trenches, like you'd get in the World War as well, further on down here. It's, uh, it looks very strange. So a passing place for this lorry to get past me. Hey, stop the net, well done, mate. He's done that before. Yeah, he's done that before. Um, yeah, we're on this corner. Nice little, um, like I said, the first time I ever come here. What is it? it looks like trenches, sticky stuff. There, there are stuff, there's like crates of some sort all over the place. Like half in, half out. There's a house on stirrets, so is it stirrets, is that the word? Like long legs, house on long legs over there. Just sticky mud, isn't it? I think. Is it quicksand? If I fall in it, will I sink? <laughs> uh, no idea. There's no animals on it, so it could be. Oh, I'm laughing, but it generally could be. You never know. Just looks weird. It's like green, sticky stuff. Looks like. There's the house on on legs. Look. It looks like an abandoned house on legs. <coughs> Thank you, car driver, much appreciated. Got another lorry coming, but there's a passing place here. I shall pull over to let the lorry through. You're welcome, mate. He did put his hand up to say thank you. Come on, that's a bit rude. Common courtesy, mate, you gotta say thank you. Where is the respect for your fellow lorry drivers? Where is it? I imagine these neighbors surely have got to get funny with all the lorry. That's a swimming pool. That house has got a bloody swimming pool. I want to look, but I can't, there's a car going. That house has got a bloody swimming pool in there. These, these houses, the owners of, must get frustrated with the amount of lorries that are passing. Must do. I think it's a little bit wider here. I'll, um, I'll pull over here on the left. It's a bit more room. We get on the curb a little bit. Um, yeah, they must be frustrated, all the, all the people. See, he's, I think he, he's kind of courteous. Must get frustrated with all the lorries passing. I know I would. It, like, um, if I bought a house down here, you'd buy the house knowing that you don't need to stop, mate. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of room for us to pass. I'll say thank you anyway. Um, yeah, I'd get frustrated with the amount of lorries. So who wouldn't? I think it's. I think it's pretty normal to get frustrated with the amount of lorries going past people's houses because they are big, ugly, smelly, disgusting things, as some people have said. Um, 
but obviously they also are, they play an integral part to the world's economy. Without them, you'd be screwed. So you can't. You need them. <laughs> Basically, you need lorry drivers. Thank you, mate. You need lorry drivers and you need trucks. More importantly, you need trucks. They will in the future be autonomous at some point. Um, quite far in the future, I would say. They're sort of semi-autonomous now, but I do believe you will always require a pilot. A bit like an aeroplane, they fly themselves, but you still require... I don't know why I put my hand up, I said thank you for no reason, don't I? Um, yeah, so... What I'm trying to say is, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if people did get frustrated with the amount of lorries coming up and down this road. It's not exactly designed for lorries, is it? Let's be honest. But we've got to use it to get to where we need to go. There's no weight limit, no width limit, no unsuitable for HTVs, no height limit. Nothing at all. It is the most suitable road in. Now we want to go left. Because in front is a weight limit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, except for loading and unloading. Neighbourhood watch. Yeah, they definitely, definitely keep an armed trucks going down there. So, update on the old house purchasing scenario, situation, situ. <laughs> um, there was a point in time where we thought it wasn't going to go through. I had to take an emergency couple of hours off of work to go sign some paperwork. Uh, and we were told by the onward seller, not the people we're buying the house off of, but the people they're buying their house off of, or one of them at least, that if we didn't sign in 24 hours and if they didn't exchange the contracts and blah, 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 then oh, I'll be pulling out and I'll be renting instead of selling and, and it just total collapse of the entire chain. So we were rushing around like headless chickens trying to get the paperwork signed, sending over deposit for the um, for the deposit of the house, the solicitor, so the solicitor, we sent it to the solicitor basically. Then they had to get approved from the bank, so I had to go to the bank and do it all over there. And yeah, we were run I was running around like a headless chicken. My wife was running around like a headless chicken. We went independently. She went with her kids because um, she's a childminder. So she went with other people's kids. They were all aware that they're um, <laughs> going to be doing that and seeing solicitors and blah, blah, blah. And then, Later on, at the end of the day, um, it was like, well, we don't actually know if it's going ahead or not. We don't know if the sale, or the exchange at least, is going ahead. My solicitor managed to, at half past three in the afternoon, get the exchange started, and the seller, the onward seller, was like, if it's not done today, we're not doing it. My solicitor was like, well, we've done everything we can do. I've sent the deposit, we've signed the paperwork, the solicitor started the exchange, nothing else me or my wife could do but wait and hope for the best. My solicitor, or our solicitor, had started the exchange. And then at half past four in the afternoon, one hour later, I got an email from the solicitor saying that the other people, the onward chains and all that, they've all done their uh, uh, exchange as well. So we're all good to go. So, at the moment, as it stands, next Friday, I will be an owner of a house. As it stands, exchange has been taking place. So now we're in contract, I believe. And... Um, yeah, as from right now, 11 days time, I will own a house. So it's been very, very stressful. If I'm totally honest with you, we're still not 100% convinced we're getting the house. There is a little part of us, which is a little bit cautious. That being said, <laughs> over the weekend, we did spend about nine grand <laughs> on <laughs> furnishings for the house and beds for the girls. The be our children, our kids have got like old bunk beds that I've chopped up and made into single beds. And then one of my children, my eldest one is in a box room. So I um, basically bodged it. So then it sits on top of the box and I put new legs down the bottom and I cut the legs off one side. So we decided when we move, the girls get new beds. So they've now, or they will have, both have double beds that, that like flip up. So you've got storage underneath. Um, from Dreams, um, that, their bed costs 1,500 quid for the two of them, and that's including the mattress as well. Mattress costs more than the bed itself. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, so that's, that's all being delivered on Saturday, the day after we get the keys, and, and being set up as well as being installed. Then we went to Ikea, and we bought a shed load of stuff from Ikea. Um, that was like two grand's worth of stuff from Ikea that we spent, mostly for, um, my wife's childminding room so she's got new storage units we then decided we wanted to have a designer um, wardrobe so got we designed our own wardrobe sliding mirrored doors led lights inside the lot so we spent two grand at ikea 
and then we thought, what else do we need? Ah, we need a sofa. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> we just spent five grand on a sofa. Um, but that's, that will be delivered for 11 weeks. So, mm, <laughs> well into August. So yeah, man, we've, um, we've signed a contract for the house and we we're in the exchange. Hopefully we get the keys next week um, and stuff is gonna be starting to be delivered from next week as well. Uh, we're not gonna live in it straight away. We're gonna probably live where we're currently living for a month. We're gonna slowly move over. I'm going to Formula One in July, a couple of weeks time. So we'll still be living in the old house whilst we're at Formula One kind of thing. But we'll be slowly moving things over to the new house and getting things delivered like the beds and installed and set up. And, and then yeah, one, one week in, um, in July, end of July, We'll, um, we'll move in. It's been a very long process. It's nearly there. It's been very stressful. Very stressful. Anyway, enough rambling. <laughs> We've gone through all the tight bits of lanes. I've spoken to you about the, uh, the house situation. I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get some miles under my belt. Go and get some fuel as well. I think probably from Clackett Lane on the M25. We've got just under a quarter of a tank. And uh, I'll probably see you when we are parking up for the night I would have thought so I'll see you in a bit okay we appear to be going through a storm it's gonna stop at South Bend services we need to get some fuel um, but yeah I just saw some lightning <laughs> we're in a thunderstorm by the looks of it South Bend services. The good thing about this service station, there's not many good things, <laughs> um, but it's completely undercover. Uh, you can card in a machine. It's like a like a self-service fuel station, basically. They can get over. Um, so yeah, we shouldn't get wet. Fingers crossed. Go to the services. It's also a pain to get into the services both this lane and the next lane here for services apparently. Oh, lightning! Did you see that? Do we have thunder? Did you see that lightning? I saw it. I, was, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up or not. Lovely, filling up a fuel. Plenty long enough to go under. Not touching any fifth on the fifth wheel grease on the top of so that I do. Whilst we are waiting um, for this fuel to fill up, we just um, redid all the straps. There were a couple of straps, the blue one there, there, and a couple down. It's quite loose. That's normal with timber. Um, it sort of settles as you're driving, and um, the straps come loose. We brought over. We tightened them up. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Uh, there's someone at my front door. <laughs> Didn't even mean to do that. Um, been looking. When we get this new house, I want to get some uh, house security. Been looking at ADT security, so like yellow um, burglar alarms, basically. Get some sensors inside the house, maybe some CCTV, I'm not sure. If anyone's got any experience with ADT um, or recommend any other burglar alarms, let me know. Get like a touchscreen panel to put your code in and everything. That's what I'm looking to get at our new house. Okie dokie, you join me just uh, on the outskirts of Oxford. We're on the A40 and we're about to pull in. No, we're not going to indicate just yet. Still half a mile away. Um, years. Pull in here on the left. 300 yards, starting again now. Hopefully this space. I would have thought so. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe the guy out. Maybe not. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, there's space up. Yeah, there's yeah, space. There's space. It's a bit narrow on this bit of the entrance, but we get in. Loads of room. Loads of room. Park over here on the left. Get as tight as we can to. The curb, I ain't parking on the curb. I don't like parking at an angle, sort of facing like that. I'll be sleeping like that, do you know I mean? I don't like doing that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and do some end of day checks. 
make sure everything's okay with the load, retighten it all back up again, um, saves doing it in the morning. Obviously we're checking in the morning anyway, but it saves doing it in the morning because it will uh, still be tight. That gate's actually open there, so if someone is coming in and out of here. Must be a farmer there, I don't know. No idea. Is there a path to walk on? Could go for a walk. Might see if there's a public footpath nearby. Huh. Yeah, let's go do some uh, end of day checks. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's bloody boiling out here. It's 25 degrees. 26 according to my watch. Put the aircon in there. So you don't feel it. As soon as I opened the door, I felt that. <laughs> so yeah, just run along the trailer. Make sure all the straps are still tight. They look tight. They wouldn't wobble in too much in the mirrors. That could do with going up a bit. So yeah, just uh, tighten it up. Make sure, make sure the rest are okay. Yeah, that can do with going up. Trouble is, this one is almost at its uh, maximum, as in, as in, as far as I can tighten it up. So I've actually got to take it off, put it back up. I'll redo it from the start. There we go. Let's check the rest of them. Yeah, good. 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 All good. Lovely. I've just had a look on the uh, Google Maps. It doesn't appear to be a footpath around here anywhere, which is annoying. I actually really kind of wanted to go for a walk. Um, the only thing I could do is go actually walk on the dual carriageway, which is a bit dangerous if you ask me. Never mind. And yeah, as I said, got to keep this clear. So I'm, I'm definitely keeping it clear. Um, I think that's actually someone's house up there, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's me done then for today. It's, um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, 10 past four. I ain't got to leave you till seven. It's 14 hours here in the layby. 14 hours. That's why I want to go for a walk. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, all my straps are off. We're back in the truck. It looks like they unload you like this, look. So from one side, and they just reach over, which is good. Whilst we're waiting, we could put on our destination for our next place. I want to go back to. Uh, over here, we're not going to the sawmill, but it's the same road to get us to um, BMI Cerny. So, yeah, 39 miles away, we'll be there in about an hour. Once we leave here, hopefully, it won't be long here. I think we're nearly done. I think we're just doing paperwork. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Right. Cheers, buddy. Right, we've got to go because uh, one of their own trucks are waiting to come in. Oh, no, he is coming in. Might have to go back just to let him in. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's put our seat bad on. Ugh, we're done. Delivery made for the day. 20 past eight, so we've been here about an hour. Longer than expected, but never mind. That's that done. We're gonna make our way now to uh, BMI Redlands in South Cerny, get loaded for Watford, and then crack on over there. I don't actually know where we're going in Watford. If I had to guess, I would probably say it's something like all type roofing or, or something like that, but we'll see when we get there. See you in a bit. Okay, we're nearly strapped up. We've just got to put the last strap on now and we're done. I've left the engine on because I've got the air con running inside the cab. It's bloody boiling. Okay, here's the load. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pallets on one side, twelve on the other, twenty-four total. 
all strapped up. All of them have corner boards on, which is good. Uh, we're just going to get our paperwork now and uh, make our way to Watford. Right, we're back in the truck and yes, it's definitely a lot cooler in here. Uh, paperwork says to give the stall a call um, to uh, basically get permission to enter the yard. I've been there before. It's quite a tight yard. You, you turn it in and you're like, can't be down here. Um, I don't know if I filmed it or not, so I'm definitely going to film it today in this video. It's, uh, yeah, you don't think you've got to go down there, but you do. Um, so I'm going to crack on. Um, I will see you when we get there. I put their phone number into my phone, so all I've got to do is just ask Siri to call last number dialed and uh, it'll uh, call them up when I'm around the corner. So I'll see you when we're there. See you in a bit. Right, you join me in Watford. We are 1.5 miles away, pretty much, from our delivery point. I do believe it starts to get a bit slow, the traffic. We're not going to call just yet, because we're still about five minutes away. Um, there's a roundabout coming up. Probably going to call them after that roundabout, I think. Hopefully we can get let in. If not, <laughs> there is uh, like a little, little industrial area just before the turning on the right-hand side. Um, getting out again there is a bit awkward because of a little chicane in the middle of the road but if we have to stop in there we will and wait for a couple of minutes or well, probably more than a couple of minutes right let's give them a call now because we're only three minutes away and going to sat nav yeah hi there good morning uh, i got a delivery for you guys from bmi redlands Yeah, you can do, yeah. Yeah, no worries, mate. Have you got, uh, do you want me to tell you my number or have you got it? You got it. That's it, mate, yeah. No worries, mate. Any idea on time? Is he, like, still fully loaded or...? Ah, nice. Yeah, all right, mate, no worries, bud. I'll, um, I'll just wait up on the road down because I'm just around the corner pretty much. All right, mate. Cheers. Bye-bye. Right, we've got a... He said he's only got one left to come off. And then he'd be getting him out. So, like, another five, ten minutes, he'd be done. So we'd need to ideally park up somewhere. Yeah, all right, well, two minutes away. So if I leave where I am now, I'll be there in a couple of minutes. All right, mate. Cheers, bud. Bye. Slowly make our way down there now, is what we're going to do. Got a bear left. Like I said, it's quite a tight yard. He said the trucks come out, but there's still a lot of customers in there. But if I um, if I give it two minutes, it should be clear. So like I said, I'm, I'm actually two minutes away, so. Um, yeah, we're slowly, slowly make our way down. There's a red light as well, so it'll all help with the traffic. We'll, um, we'll let this lorry through as well. Yes, the uh, industrial estate is here on the right. It's not even an industrial estate, it's more like a, a unit complex. But to get back out again, you've got to obviously take a right. And these chicanes in the middle of the road here, look, not chicanes, like little bollards. And the trailer, it literally only just misses it. Literally only just. Okay, and we want to go right down here. if someone lets me through. But it is a little snug. Cars on the left, buildings on the right. But we're in. Gotta take it nice and slowly because of all the potholes down this bit of the road. Oh. 
You can still see a couple of cars and their vans. I don't know if they're actually going to let me in or not. We'll go on down anyway. Hopefully they can see I'm here and then they move, they move out the way for me. Oh yeah, there's loads of fans in here. Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, so I think we're just going to be uh, sat here for a while until they can sort out <laughs> some of these vans because they're going to have to move out the way for me to get in so they can get out. So yeah, just sit here for a while. Sit here for a while and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I know. I did. Hello, but we haven't called you in yet, have we? Yeah. Who called you in? I, I phoned up, you said come in in a couple of minutes. Gave it four minutes and I come on down, so... Tiles. <laughs> Tell me I'm not supposed to come down when I was told to come on down. Right, the straps are off. I'm gonna jump in the truck. Maybe put the aircon on, it's a bit warm. It's uh, it's one of the things I like most about the flatbed work is once you've taken the straps off, that's it, you're done. <laughs> it's in your truck and chill out. <laughs> um, let's get that aircon on. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, so yeah, we are, we're done. It's gonna be the end of the video as well, I suspect. Um, I think we're probably gonna be here for a while because they got a tip their own, um, oh, sorry, load their customers as well. I do have one person taking me, so fingers crossed we'll be out of here soon. But that is going to be the end for today's video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Had some uh, had some lightning yesterday. Don't know if I mentioned, but last night um, it was thundering in Oxford, like pretty much most of the evening, like really bad thunder. Um, it's quite nice actually. I say bad. It's not. It wasn't bad. It was quite nice, but like really grumbling thunder it almost felt like lorry a lorry was passing me every sort of 10 seconds <laughs> it's just the weather but i was just playing on my laptop playing uh nba 2k 23 or whatever it is i don't know so yeah man anyway thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it until next time drive safe stay safe and i will see you soon thanks for watching Bye bye